An external disturbance was detected in Force Sensor 3. That may sound like a line out of Star Wars or Star Trek, uh, but that line, when displayed on the screen, means I was getting inconsistent first layers and even fails to home with this machine. Now, the Bamboo Lab machines, both the X1 and the X1 Carbon, are great machines and amazing value for their money. They're loaded to the gills with sensors. But what happens when the smart features of your printer stop working? So in today's video, I'm gonna show you what I think was happening with my machine, how I solved it, and how you can do it with nothing but a screwdriver and a piece of tape. So let's get started. So first off, what is this error? When I originally got this machine, I printed for weeks and months, no issues. Um, there's a few grievances I have with the firmware and the slicer app and things have improved via software updates, but I've never really had anything to complain about hardware wise with this machine until this error started popping up. Now, at first this would pop up randomly. Um, I would still be able to print. Occasionally I would get a part of the print that was a little high or low on the bed, but everything seemed to be working quite well. But then I started getting full on failures to home and it wasn't homing. I would, I would start a print and then I would be upstairs on my computer and not hear the house shake when it did its input shaper calibration. on, come back downstairs and lo and behold, the, the printer errored out. So what's going on here? So with the Bamboo Lab X1 and the P1P series, uh, they have what's called a piezoelectric sensor in the bed. They actually have three of them. And those sensors, to simplify things as much as possible, when you apply force to them, they emit electric current. And depending on the voltage, uh, that is the pressure. So the controller board can read the voltage coming off of the piezoelectric sensor, and it could tell basically when force is being applied and how much force, that's how they work. And it was giving an error right here that's basically saying something's wrong and it thinks something's touching the bed. So of course I verified everything seemed to be okay, it's an enclosed printer. I made sure it was all clean. Nothing was touching the bed. Everything should have been okay. But this still kept happening, still kept happening. Now I did contact Bamboo Lab support, um, but before they got back to me, I came across something online and I wish I had saved it because I can't remember where I found it. it. was Reddit or Twitter or even Discord. I can't remember. But I'm gonna show you how I fixed this issue, what I think was causing the error and how you could do it with just a piece of tape. So the first thing we have to do is power off our machine, and spin it around. So let's do that right now. So we have the machine turned around and we are gonna have to take off this back plate here. Now I have the AMS attached to it and we're gonna try and do this as simple as possible. So I'm just gonna unplug the PTFE cable and the one plug that goes into the machine. And I'm just gonna unscrew this and just kind of move it up out of the way. Now, when it comes to unscrewing this back plate, do not unscrew these two screws here. These are for your tensioning for the Core XY system. So don't touch those. Just undo the screws that hold this plate on. Also pay attention because some of these screws are plastic screws and some of these are for metal. You can tell by the thread pitch. Higher thread pitch means it screws into metal. Uh, coarser thread is for plastic. So don't mix up your two screw types. So let's go ahead, unscrew all these screws. An electric screwdriver makes this a lot easier. There's two screws behind here. The one on the right, you leave in. The one on the left, you take out. Now, when you go to take this off, there are two little tabs here. They go behind here. So you may have to like finagle it a bit to get it to pop out the first time. Just be careful. Try not to bend it because this is thin sheet metal. If you bend it, you can damage it, put a crease in it. And it may take a little force, but you can take this little connector off. I like to slide that out of the way. So here we have the back of the machine. I've got it plugged it in. I'll show you why in a minute. But you can see we have two bundles of wires coming out of the bed. The thicker one here is for power. And the thinner one here is a bunch of sensors. So these are your sensors, the piezoelectric, and maybe the thermistor. I don't know because it's all, again, bundled together and it, it's closed source. So there's not exactly an easy pin mapping for this controller board that you can find. So what exactly is going on? Well, right now the bed's in the middle here. I'm gonna home this printer and I'm gonna show you what I think is causing the error here. Pay attention to this wire right here as the bed homes. Now, 
Now, it, it may be hard to see, um, and I think this was worse originally um, because I've had to undo what I've done to fix it uh, to record this video, but this wire here was moving. As, as the bed moves up, it pulls on it, and you can see it moves. So what I'm thinking is happening is this connector right here. Let me turn the machine off quickly. So what's going on and what do I think the issue is? Well, because the bed uses piezoelectric sensors, which work off voltages and resistances and whatnot, um, I think when this cable moves, it's slightly affecting the results and it's confusing the controller unit. So to fix this is simply take this wire here and just tape it to um, the poop chute, essentially. Um, just prevent this from moving. Now, I don't know for sure if this is the exact cause of the error and is this the proper way to fix it, but I was getting this error on pretty much every print for weeks um, and failing prints about half the time. And then after taping this to here, like this, it completely went away and I haven't had this error for months. Now, you may be able to also um, put some glue, like hot glue or the silicone glue on the connector itself and maybe lock everything into place. But uh, a little piece of tape here works well enough that it hasn't been an issue since I've done it and it's easily undoable. So I'm gonna go ahead, put the piece of tape back on and uh, close this printer back up so we can get it back in action. Now, I'm sure pretty much any type of tape will do. I'm using Captain Tape simply because this is an electrical environment and I like using Captain Tape anytime there is um, a potential for exposure to voltages or high temperature. Um, so there we go. But I'm, I'm, I'm honestly wouldn't be surprised if electrical tape or just duct tape would even work for this. So all I did was just tape the wire to the, uh, the poop chute for the filament and that's it. So now we just got to put the panel back on uh, screw it back together and we are good to go. And there you have it. Now this might not be the official fix, uh, but it seems to work quite well. I haven't had this issue crop up since I've done this repair with a piece of tape. Uh, now, full disclosure, I did reach out to Bamboo. Um, I let them know I was having this error and I heard about this fix before they got back to me. So I attempted the fix. It seems to fix my issues, but then they got back to me afterwards and they suggested that they send me a replacement cable. Uh, but since putting that piece of tape on, I haven't had any issues. So I may tell them to send the cable just so I can compare. But in the meantime, it's, it's working again, so I can't really complain. So if you were having this issue, I hope this solves it. You're gonna be taking the back off anyways to swap out the cable, and it's not like you're soldering or cutting anything or splicing or doing anything fancy. You're literally putting a piece of tape on a cable to keep it from moving. So if you are having this issue and you wanna try the quick fix method first, give it a shot. If not, reach out to Bamboo. I'm sure they'll take care of you. So I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you learned something new. If you wanna take a look at a printer that you'd have to build instead of one that you just take out of a box and print, why don't you check this review here of the V Minion that I built from scratch. If you're looking for a kit printer because you wanna dive into building your own printers instead of unboxing them and hitting go, why not check it out? Take care and enjoy your day. Cheers.